For hundreds of years, flow control technology for stormwater systems has remained stagnant until today. Whereas traditional detention systems only hit peak allowable flow when the pond is full, thirsty duck outlets float at a fixed depth below the water surface, allowing for constant discharge of the peak flow rate, which is achieved earlier in the storm event. Basically, like cruise control, this allows systems to meet regulatory requirements with less volume. In fact, with a thirsty duck, you can save as much as 50% of the total volume required, and that opens up a whole world of opportunity. So just what is a thirsty duck? Thirsty duck products are floating outlets and skimmers. They produce a constant discharge regardless of water surface elevation, and they work by suspending an orifice at a fixed depth below the water surface. They operate at a constant head and produce constant flow. The Thirsty Duck TD series is a floating orifice attached to an expanding conduit we call the bellows. It's used for low flow rate applications and comes in two sizes. Model TDP-184 features a 4-inch bellows and handles flow rates up to 0.33 CFS. Model TDP-248 features an 8-inch bellows and handles flows up to 1.5 CFS. It can be installed in ponds, but is more commonly installed inside a precast concrete structure manhole or vault. It attaches to the outlet with a standard ANSI flange connection and has a maximum vertical rise of 8 feet. The ER, or Early Riser, is a custom fabricated product. It's used for higher flow rate applications, typically starting at about 3 CFS. It works by suspending a flow restricting tube within a stationary tube. It's installed over a precast concrete structure and can be installed in open ponds or underground vaults. It comes in three configurations, the single restriction, dual restriction, and hybrid. So why the thirsty duck? Historically, the traditional method of flow control for detention systems has been weirs and orifices. What weirs and orifices have in common is that with increasing water depth, or head, the flow rate increases and likewise the flow rate decreases as the water depth falls. With Thirsty Duck, the flow rate remains constant which means water can pass through the system much more efficiently. So here's how it saves. The volume required in a stormwater detention system is the difference between what flows in over time and what flows out over time. These curves are known as the inflow hydrograph and the outflow hydrograph. It's the area between the curves which represents the volume of storage required. When traditional wares and orifices are used to control flow, the allowable peak rate of discharge is only achieved for the incident in time when the volume is completely full. That's when there is the most head over the weir or the orifice. When Thirsty Duck is used as a flow control system, the allowable peak rate of discharge is achieved at a much earlier point in time and is maintained constant for the duration of the inflow. The result is minimization of the area between the inflow hydrograph and the outflow hydrograph. Since the hydrology and hydraulics of every project are unique, the amount of volume Thirsty Duck will save will vary. However, it's not uncommon to save anywhere between 20 and 50 percent. Thirsty Duck is a money saver. It saves valuable land. Thirsty Duck also saves on construction cost and ongoing maintenance cost. Smaller ponds require less excavation, less grading, less slope treatments, less fencing, and are much cheaper to maintain than larger ponds. If your project requires underground storage, then the decision to use Thirsty Duck should be pretty simple. Underground systems are very expensive to construct and very difficult to maintain. When it comes to underground, smaller is definitely better. Thirsty Duck works with all underground systems, including cast-in-place concrete, precast systems such as Storm Trap and Old Castle, and it also works with all of the popular arch chamber systems 
such as StormTech and Triton. Thirsty Duck can be used in new construction and retrofit applications and is most commonly used to minimize flood or rate control volume, maximize water quality treatment volume, or to add additional capacity to existing systems. Thirsty Duck can be used to meet any agency design criteria, whether it's single event, multiple event, or continuous simulation flow duration curve analysis. And yes, it's permittable. Although Thirsty Duck moves, it's not considered to be a mechanical device. It has no mechanically engaged parts, its operation is both passive and frictionless, and buoyancy does all the work. All Thirsty Duck products are easy to assemble, easy to install, and require little or no maintenance. So, are you thinking about trying Thirsty Duck? Let us help you. Thirsty Duck offers free design assistance and can provide you with rating curves, hydrologic and hydraulic modeling, specialty hydraulic analysis and construction details and drawings in a variety of formats. Thirsty Duck is officially a HydroCAD supported product and we have all of the other major H&H packages in-house including PondPack, Ponds, Edi CPR, PC Swim, HydroFlow, MGS Flood and the Western Washington Hydrology Model. Most of all, Thirsty Duck is a company of engineers who are both knowledgeable and experienced. We invented the product because we had to solve the same problems you face too. Please visit our website at www.thirsty-duck.com.